Hey, what's up guys? Today we're going to be doing a review of the South Bat. It's a nice wood bat um, made with uh, quite a new, almost in-testing wood um, called Guayabi. It's um, a South American wood uh, similar to that of bamboo. Um, it's kind of like a hybrid between bamboo and maple. So it's really dense, but you do get the lighter feel such as bamboo. So it's also tensile strength. It's very, very... Um, strong so um, it won't break as easily so we're gonna take a look at that right now and then we're gonna head down to the field and pretty much uh, take a few swings with it off the tee um, just to showcase how this bat plays out now the only complaints I have about the south bat are um, other than the fact that it's in testing on this new wood and that it's not MLB approved so if you're a semi pro player or um, you know are trying to use it in minor leagues major leagues whatever um, they haven't signed many contracts with major league players uh, such as like Tucci lumber has done that Victus obviously X bat um, are all MLB approved. The Guayabi wood on the South Bat uh, is not. Now if you look at the grain here, which I'm um, trying to find on the actual handle here, I'm trying to get my camera to focus, you can't really see the actual um, you know, grain marks because it is, there we go right there, um, it's kind of really similar to that of bamboo um, and maple where the grain is there but it's so compact and close together that you can't really see the actual straightness of the grain such as that you can on this uh, Rawlings right here which is ash. You can see the grain is as straight as can be as opposed to this over here which is pretty much just all moshed together. So other than the complaint that it's not MLB approved, um, not that that matters, that just means that the grain isn't, you know, that perfect. Um, it does have quite a lot of pop. Um, you can see I've taped it up already, and it has uh, probably one of the best pops I've ever had, you know, in any sort of wood bat, um, because it is this new Guayabi uh, wood that really isn't being explored by any other company. So that's really why I wanted to try out this South Bat and show you guys what it looks like on the field. Um, so uh, other than that, the comparison that I have in this cons uh, actual specific bat is it's a 271 turn um not that you guys would know what that is it's just the cut um you can see it's barrel almost looks like a fungo bat so that's another complaint i have about it is it's 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 uh, a 271 turn but if you compare it to like say a rawlings 271 you can see that the rawlings has a way bigger barrel there um in terms of circumference and diameter and all that um the handle's about the same but i just think that they call it a 271 turn but it's not uh you know a um a mainstream 271 is kind of um, iffy in terms of barrel size. So, uh, nonetheless, enough talking about this. Let's get to the field. I'm going to go drive down to the rec park and we'll uh, take a few swings with it. So stay tuned. Alright, so I've got the camera set up. Um, pretty much dead center at this field is about 340. Um, right where that um, light post is in dead center is around... 340 as I said, um, it's pretty, you know, it's just a rec park, so um, we'll see what we can do. Um, in other words, there's no fence in right, so I don't know if you can even see over there with the camera, but whatever. Um, we're going to take a few hacks off the tee, and then we'll throw a few up and see if we can get one over the fence. Um, thing about this is the Guayabi bat, it performs really well um, off speed too. Because it is so light, um, pretty much you have to stick the bat head out and it'll go far, so... Um, I haven't really hit off the tee with it much, so we'll see how it uh, performs. Um, I'll try and highlight some spots on the field, um, opposite field, pole, whatever, and we'll reset the camera as needed, so uh, stay tuned here. Was a one hopper to the fence. See if we can get it over this time. Another one hopper. I'm trying to go dead center right now. Lower the steep bit. This one we're going to try and take the right center, hold a little bit. Nice line drive. Take this one to deep center if we can. See if we can pull this one up to the uh, 
right house a little bit, right center. Right on top a little bit. I hit the garbage can. I might be out. Yep, that's a home run. Deep center. Try and go up both field, hit one to the left. Oh, hold it. Let's go left field on this one. Bat hits pretty nicely. Um, one thing I have to say is this bat is very light, so you get the nice whip with your bottom hand pretty. You don't really have to worry about rolling over and stuff. You get the whip pretty nicely. Let's hit this one wherever. There you go. Again, dead center. Off the fence. Let's see if we can hit this one over it. Yeah, it's gone. Yep. They hit off the top part of the fence, came back down. One hopper. Alright, I'm gonna throw one up to myself, move this tee out. See how far we can get it past that 340 mark. That's gone. <laughs> into the playground. This bat's really light. You can get up through it pretty easily. Um, you know, not not that hard to hit far with it. Right, one more thrown up to myself. Onto the playground. Trying to see if I can hit one on the firehouse. One more here. So you can see this bad. Nothing, nothing short of spectacular. I mean, we're hitting routine 340, just throwing it up to ourselves. So it's pretty nice. Trying to see if we, if we can uh, set one up. Try and hit one up in the air, but kind of go for sort of like a boot shot. Try and get on this one a little bit. I'll show you how far it can go. That was off the fence right under the uh, white post, that was like 3.30. I'm actually going to set up like a game situation here. Try and go for contact on this one. Fuck center, there you go. Try and get my hands working on this. That one kind of died a little bit. See if we can go line drive second base on this one. I'm not... There you go. 
line drive over second base. Now I'm going to go from the long shot, um, put everything into this one, my whole body, Happy Gilmore style. That's over. So I mean, we're literally throwing it up to ourselves, hitting routine 330, so think nothing short of great. Go left field with this. There you go. South pad's really good. It's got some good pop. Only thing is the green's not the best. The only uh, real um, complaint I have. Left field again. That one's going far. That's pretty good. All right, we'll pull on the right. There you go. One more deep center if we can. I'll pull it over. Try one more here. I'll probably go quick. Still got three balls left in the bucket. I went to the fence. Um, right to the fence. These are all going like 320. Kind of getting tired. Last one. Let's see if we can put this over center. Go really far on this one. Nope, it's not too hard. All right. So pretty much you guys saw the actual, you know, mayhem of wherever the hell this ball hits, uh, bat hits, but, um, you know, it's a great bat. For power, obviously, it's a thing to explore. From contact, definitely something that's going to be religiously, um, you know, have an impact on your swing. Um, something that definitely I want to explore also is I have a 141 model uh, coming in the mail. Um, it's a bit, bit bigger barrel, so I wonder if that thing has even more pop. So, uh, yep, uh, we'll have some closing thoughts after this. Alright, so I'm going to hit one and pretty much show you guys exactly where it goes. don't have a tape measure, but as uh, stated, the center field is about 340. Um, we're going to take the camera and see where it goes just to pretty much show you guys how far this bat really is hitting. So, stay tuned. Go get that for you. Take this out. Go and track that down. Trying to see where that ball went. All the way over here. This is a ball we just hit. It's pretty far out. All right, so you can see here we've got the aftermath of all this. Um, there's a lot of balls out there. You can see all those. Um, I'll go walk over there in a second, but pretty much you can see yeah, that's a good, I'm probably at like 280 feet right here off the tee just throwing up. And over there is around 330, 340. So just uh, pretty much show you guys. I'll come back when I'm over there. All right, so this is probably the furthest one. Um, all the way that, that far. It's route 360, 370. So... Pretty much actual, I wish I had a friggin' tape measure. It looks like there's one over here, which is that far away. So, South Bat, things got some good pop. Thanks for watching, guys. Pretty much the end of this. And I'll have a review on the 141 model next.